Well, Loughborough resumed on their overnight 45 for two, but third ball of the morning, Mark Footed trapped Hassan Azad LBW for 18. Loughborough captain Michael Burgess came to the wicket and started confidently with back-to-back -back boundaries. At the other end, Nitish Kumar got his morning going with a boundary through the covers. Burgess looked in good form, pushing Footed through the covers for another boundary, and Kumar, with Burgess, played nicely after the loss of that early wicket. But on 30, Kumar was bowled by Matthew Dunn to leave the visitors 92 for four. And Burgess then fell to Tom Curran for 26 when he was well caught by Gary Wilson in the slips. Basil Akram came to the crease and looked to be positive straight away. Loughborough MCCU moved past 100 and Akram played nicely, particularly off the front foot. At the other end, Charles Lowen worked James Burt to the mid-wicket boundary as a partnership slowly developed. Akram continued to play very nicely and the Loughborough pair moved the visitors past 150 and their partnership went past 50. Akram and Lowen took Loughborough safely through to lunch with the scoreboard reading 166 for 5. After lunch, Akram picked up where he'd left off in the morning session as the partnership continued to develop. Akram moved to an excellent 50 with a quick single. It had come from 86 deliveries with nine boundaries. The partnership moved past 100 as the Luff repair continued to play very well. Lowen and Akram batted into the afternoon session and despite moments of fortune, they continued to play positively and the runs continued to arrive. Lowen moved to his 50 with a couple of runs off James Burke. His 50 had come off 88 balls with seven fours on his first class debut. The partnership moved past 150 for the sixth wicket and Akram moved himself into the 90s with a boundary to third man. The partnership was finally broken with the score on 275 when Lowen on 66 edged Burke into the gloves of Ben Folks. But then Akram moved to his maiden first class century with a boundary off Gareth Batty. It had been an excellent innings. It had come from 151 balls and had contained 17 crisp boundaries. Loughborough MCCU went to tea with Akram 110 not out and the scoreboard reading 291 for six. Akram moved Loughborough past 300 after the tea break and when Surrey took the new ball, he continued to be positive and continued to find the boundary. Akram was in a rich vein of form as the runs continued to flow, but Loughborough found themselves 327 for seven when Oliver Haley was caught behind for eight off Tom Curran. Akram though continued to play really, really well and he moved to his 150 with his 26th boundary straight back down the ground. The 150 had arrived from 193 deliveries. Footit picked up a third wicket when he bowled Bobby Gamble for 10 to leave the visitors 352 for eight and Akram's brilliant innings finally came to an end when he was caught by Sam Curran off footed for 160. And Tom Curran finished the Loughborough innings when he caught Samuel Cook off his own bowling without scoring as the visitors were all out for 359. Surrey led by 38 runs and that became 42 as Rory Burns got off the mark with a crisp boundary to the cover point rope. Burns opened up with Sam Curran and was quick to seize on the short ball as he pulled Sam Grant for six. Sam Curran then played a lovely shot off Gamble that sped to the cover rope, but he was then LBW to Kumar for 15 not offering a shot, as Surrey closed on 31 for one, leading by 69 runs.